your TikTok shows a huge amount of interaction and you're very prolific with your work. I would love to hear about your approach to making TikTok content and maybe any tips that you have for up and coming creators on that platform. Well, my best advice, honestly, is the the music that you use in the background of the videos that is like one of the most important things that I think gets you more views or less views so like a lot of people say you get the music off like someone like Charlie D'Amelio who uses the trending music but if you click on the sound and the sound has over a hundred thousand views or like videos already chances are you're not gonna go viral you sort of need to find a sound that's like like coming up and like people haven't realized it yet so if you find a sound that has like 9,000 views like 10,000 9,000 views and you can see that it's getting more and more that is the sound that will most likely get you viral I've also found that the content that I put in like captions like words and stuff definitely get me more views as well so one of me singing or like like doing the lip syncing would get me maybe like a thousand views but when I documented a camping trip I went on that got 30,000 and that was me showing like what I was doing on the on the camping trip and like people were loving it honestly and that one sort of like blew up like straight away so I definitely think like doing more like documenting your life definitely like people seem to enjoy that a lot. So do you think that TikTok is going through that same period that YouTube had a few years back with the whole vlogging experience. You want to see what the creator is doing content wise, but you also want to see what they're doing in their everyday life. Definitely. Like it's, it's definitely a big thing. Like, especially if you're at home a lot, you like to see like what other people are doing. And I think it's a curiosity thing as well. Like you want to see the creators that you're following, what they do, like, every day in their life I've noticed a lot of like a big sort of thing at the moment is a lot of creators are doing like a what I eat in a day and they like film every sort everything that they eat in a day and people are loving it and like they just sort of like want to see like what their creators are, are doing and like they I know that reviews are like a big thing now as well so like I think it's only American at the moment but they have like a cookie store somewhere in America and like people are reviewing it like every cookie that comes out and like people really like it and and I did a review video of like candy and people seem to really like it as well so it's definitely like they like to hear you talk sometimes like not just showing your outfit or like dancing and stuff (laughs) that is incredible variety and also you have some family videos as well. So, I, And I've always felt that when you add a certain element of family to anything that you're doing, it's a surefire way for people to start connecting with the creator as well, or even the brand, just seeing family. Like everyone can envision doing something fun with their family. Everyone can envision their parents uh, you know, stumbling upon them, you know, doing a <laughs> dance. And then like 10 minutes later, when you come downstairs, they're mimicking you with that dance. Like all of that is cute. And I think that's also part of the reason why TikTok blew up. And like you said, uh, now that more people are doing like what I eat in a day, maybe people are starting to realize that TikTok isn't just about the dances. It isn't just about the trending music. It's about basically what everything else in social media used to be but you're adding that artistic slant to it definitely i i think you're like definitely right on that like when i first heard of tiktok i did think it was just like a dancing thing and like a lip syncing thing and then once i joined i've seen it like more and more evolve from like just like funny videos or like dancing videos to people like sharing their lives and like their interests and like what books they like and new series is and like people are talking about like stuff in the news because I don't watch the news but I seem to get everything that they say on the news on my TikTok so like it's like you sort of get everything in one place and I think that's why it's doing so well at the moment. 